Well, Steven Crowder's got big problems. He's got big problems. You know, he he's never received love from his wife, is what he says in the video. He says, I've never received love from you. I get no respect. He needs respect. R-E-S-B-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. You know, Diana Ross told us. R-E-S-B-E-C-T, take out TCB, whatever. I don't know, whatever. However the song goes. He needs some respect. He's not getting it from his woman here. He says, I want you to put on some gloves, walk the dog, get some steaks. I don't know, whatever it was. And she doesn't want to do it. He says, take an Uber. You're not taking the car. Something wrong with the car. I don't know. It's probably in the shop. Transmission's out. We don't know what's going on. We don't know. What it is. We're watching the video. We don't know what's going on in here. But we know that he is not getting respect. R-E-S-B-E-C-T. He says... She says, I love you, Stephen. I love you. I love you, Stephen. I love you. And it's fair. I've never seen a couple, I've never heard of a couple argue, arguing and the wife's like, just keeps saying, I love you, Stephen. I love you. I, love, I mean, it sounds like a robot in the in the video here. I mean, I guess this was like taking a month before she filed divorce from him. So, she, you know, she's probably, she's probably looking at the camera. I love you, Stephen. I love you. Whatever. Anyway, though, Elena knows what I'm talking about. Uh, so, <laughs> So anyway, the problem, the problem that Steven Crowder has is that he thinks he has authority in his marriage. And he's going to learn, he is learning, that he does not have authority in a marriage. Now, he probably thought he had a biblical marriage, which he does not have. He does not have because he signed a marriage license, and the marriage license stipulates that this marriage can be dissolved at any time for any reason, doesn't matter what it is. And so he will learn that he does not have authority like he thought he had. Now, Pastor Dal Rock, I just did a video on this. He wrote an article called Threat Point where the, the, the basis of the article is that whoever wants out of the marriage has all the power. Whoever wants to stay in the marriage has no power in the marriage. That's what no-fault divorce has done to the state of marriage now. And so what we have now is basically glorified cohabitation. If you can get out of your marriage at any time for any reason, then why even sign a, a, a license? Why even have a marriage contract if you can dissolve it at any time for any reason? What What's the point of even getting married then at that point. Now I know you say, well, there is the covenantal part of marriage, right, Elena? There's a covenantal part of marriage, and that's the part that really matters, and that's what I believe, that's the part that really matters, the covenantal part. We bow before God, we bow before our friends and family, we're gonna stay together through thick and thin, you know, love will find a way, like the old Tesla song, love will find a way. You know that song. But <clears throat> even that, we take these vows. I hear people all the time, take the vows before God, but then, hey, things aren't going so good. Hey, well, he was emotionally abusive. I just, why don't you put that in the vow? Say, well, for better or for worse, sickness or poor, sickness or health, rich or poor, unless he's abusive, unless she's abusive, okay, then we dissolve it, right? Why not put that in the vows then? Or richer or poor, I mean, I think... You know, we mostly know it better be for richer, for richer, because if it's for poorer, you're getting divorced. So, <laughs> so you got to be careful. You got to be careful. I think S Stephen Crowder, he is gonna, he's gonna learn that he has no authority. Um, his wife will take probably more than half of what he has. He'll be lucky if he ever gets to see his kids, um, and that's. That's sad, but that's where we're at. He should have said, hey, baby, you, you just do what you need to do. You need to walk the dog. You don't want to walk the dog. That's okay. I'll just kick the dog. You want to put on gloves. You don't want to put on gloves. I know it's in the middle of COVID. I don't want you going to the store because you probably get COVID. Maybe you get sick and the baby too. I don't want you to do that. He says in there, I'm not going out. I'm not going to the gym. I'm not going to see my parents because it's in the middle of COVID. So, hey, I... I can't go out. I don't want you going out. You should have said that. He said, hey, baby, do what you, you got to do you. You do whatever you want, right? That's what you got to do in modern day. 
Because you don't have authority. Husbands, you do not have authority. You just got to learn that. There's no authority there. Okay? You got to do what you got to do. I'll try to do what I got to do. You have spiritual authority. Lead her spiritually. Pray for her. Do those kinds of things. You don't have hard authority, though. There's no hard authority. Like, Stephen Crowder's going to learn. There's no hard authority. There, okay? Marriage is in a sad state. It's in a sad state today. At some point, we got to get the ship turned around because society's going downhill with the shape this marriage is in. Elena knows it, too. She knows it. But even with all that being said, Christ is winning. He is building his church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Until next time, this is the Post-Millennial Man.